Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This diver came to feed the fish, but the zebra shark decided that it wanted a belly rub instead. So I found this dog and it's really, really round. This person figured out that you can remove a den from a car by using hot boiling water and a plunger. This person was driving a truck filled with gasoline when they ran into an electric pole. The driver claimed that a bird ran into his windshield, but luckily nobody got hurt. It's a western ribbon snake, wide mouth version. Oh no, come on, stop chewing. This company is developing a vehicle that perfectly transitions from a car to a flying machine. This is called an Andean Tunki, and they can be found in South America. They love to eat fruits, small reptiles, and even frogs. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. Elderly people frequently break their hips when they fall down, so a company developed these airbags designed to protect hips. When this device senses that a person is falling, the airbags automatically deploy. This same sort of technology is being used on people who ride motorcycles. Wow. There's a hotel in South Africa where elephants come right up to the pool for a drink.
This is called a derma clip, which helps heal wounds without using any stitches. <laughs> That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Someone designed a concept to help firefighters put out fires in very tall buildings. This machine would use multiple drones to help fly and rescue people who are stuck. Every day this cat comes to this butcher looking for any extra scraps of meat. This is what a completely automated warehouse looks like with over 1,000 working robots. The robots receive an order from the consumer and then instantly carry out the task. In preparation for the 2018 Men's World Cup, a company in Russia started making water bottles in the shape of a ball. That might sound pretty cool until you realize that the ball acted as a magnifying glass when placed in the sun. This is called Handy Move, which is a system that helps disabled people move around their own homes. This is what roads look like in the Middle East after a sandstorm. This artist is using ink that brightly shines in the dark. This drawing was great. I had to be very careful not to get any of the glowy ink on my fingers because I was touching the paper a lot with my left hand and I knew very that very easily I could start smudging and any smudging would be so painfully apparent. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. A few years ago, Dan Mancia lost his eyesight from a rare eye disease, but that didn't stop him from skateboarding. He still skateboards by using a stick to help him avoid running into things. Yeah!
This is Pitch Lake, located in Trinidad, and it's one of the few natural deposits of asphalt in the world. And what's that mean? Is it not sticking on your foot at all? Mm -hmm. No, it's not no. bad. Wow. Yeah. There are areas where... Native Americans actually use the mud from this lake to seal their boats to keep water out. They actually took so much from here and stored in a place called... The lake naturally produces methane, so the bubbles that rise to the surface are flammable. This company developed a bed that's supposed to calm down your baby. All you need to do is strap in your baby and the machine starts moving. The company states that this rocking motion helps simulate as if the baby was still in the womb. This is the Falkirk wheel located in Scotland and is currently the only rotating boat lift in the world. The wheel was created to help connect the canal to a different waterway making transportation much easier. This is Gilby. <laughs> Who is it? Garanook. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. There's this guy that takes care of exotic animals, and his lions seem to really love him. I shall pass. This person decided to see what would happen if they tried to charge their old Nokia phone with 1 million volts. The crazy thing is that the phone still worked after it was turned back on. О, она включилась! Ура! Одно сообщение пришло! Что мы ей звонили, ура! Сеть даже поймала! Ничего себе! Я просто... This is the blackest paint ever created because light has an extremely difficult time reflecting off of it. Now VBX-1 is different from Vanta Black, the performance is almost the same, but this material doesn't contain any carbon nanotubes and is essentially environmentally friendly, and it's the first time in the world a paint like this has been created with this level of absorption within the visible spectrum. This is what it looks like when a snake is playing dead. You should get a video of that. I am videoing. That's Musk. Oh. Well, he's, he's trying to smell dead as well as play dead. Well, you only must... Well, that's crazy. Isn't that crazy? I've seen a video of them doing that. It was really cool. Yep. You haven't said that to me.
This lion is crossing this river with her cub in a dangerous situation. Motivated out of the fear of being left behind, the cub finds the courage to cross the river. That's the end of this video. Uh, hopefully I made your day just a little better, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. A company in Sweden started making beer out of sewage water. The water is taken from the sewers to be filtered, cleaned, and used to make beer. The purpose is to show people that treated water is perfectly safe to consume. För att slå hål på fördomarna och få folk att upptäcka att renat avloppsvatten kan bli en del av framtidens lösning, slog nya Carnegie... Despite the fact that you're drinking beer that was in poop just a few days ago, almost 100,000 people voted the beer a solid 3 out of 5. Someone invented an airplane that would have the ability to detach and parachute safely to the ground in the event of an emergency. This is how a factory in Vietnam makes holes in designer jeans. Here's a cool visual of what planets would look like in the sky if they're the same distance from the moon. Beehives sometimes get really, really hot, so to help cool things down, bees will work together to get some air moving. Bees will actually stand in the opening of the hive and they'll blow the air out or suck the air in to try and get some ventilation going inside the hive. And normally when they're in a commercial box you can't really see it so good. This is called a sea bin and it's currently being used to clean up dirty harbors. Trash and other rubbish fall into the bin without harming any sea life. The company states that they have never had a fish or any form of sea life fall into the bin. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you have a wonderful Father's Day, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. Many of the streets in Los Angeles are being painted white as a way to help cool down the city. The hope is that the streets will have a more difficult time absorbing radiation emitted from the sun. There's a zoo in New Zealand that traps you in a cage and lets lions crawl all around you.
Police officers are using new technology when trying to stop fleeing vehicles. This device gets caught and tangled in the suspect's wheel, which allows the officer to slow down the vehicle from behind. These guys found a truck that's been abandoned for over two years, so they decided to see if they could hotwire the truck and get it running again. <laughs> also yeah. cheap like Walmart light stuff too. Yeah. The only thing that's Yes it does. <laughs> and that's how it's done. <laughs> This company figured out a method to extract honey from a beehive without disturbing the bees. And that goes into the honey lake back point. The bees keep the hive at about 35 degrees, which means the honey comes out quite warm. You can feel the jar and feel that the honey actually is a little bit warm. These are called brittle starfish and they can be found on the coast of California. Large groups of these brittle stars are often found together at low tide under rocks and in shallow pools possibly drawn by concentrations of decaying organic matter, which is a favorite food. These groups can include other animals. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. You can make gold dissolve and disappear by placing little tiny drops of mercury on it. I decided to add a page of gold leaf to this blob, and this time it was much faster, and in my opinion, a lot cooler. One thing I should mention though, is that this effect is a little bit exaggerated, because the gold leaf has a super high surface area. A solid gold chunk will still amalgamate, but it won't be nearly as spectacular. These people made it possible for you to have the DNA of your loved ones tattooed in your skin. They take the hair from a loved one, mix it together with colored dye, and place it under your skin. In your hair is about 20% carbon. In a multi-step process, we extract this personal carbon and manufacture a unique tattoo ink out of it. It would be a great idea if I could have my children under my skin as a tattoo so we are connected forever. This is called the tablecloth cloud effect. As the clouds seep over the mountains, the warm air below evaporates the moisture, keeping the clouds in one place. This is what it looks like when a frog swallows a lightning bug. I wonder how long it'll live. This is how they make giant industrial sized metal springs. This guy made a car bike hybrid out of plastic tubes and tin foil. This is called an orange oak leaf butterfly and they can be found in South Asia.
They have the ability to turn from a dried up leaf to a beautiful butterfly just by moving its wings. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. Gum getting sucked to sidewalks is a problem in major cities, so a company decided to take all that gum and recycle it to make shoes. There's an organization where six-year-olds race each other on bikes that go up to 50 miles per hour. Ross McGuire rides on the back of Johnny Garner as they go through the left-hander. Casey O'Gorman dives, can't marker. get through. It's all about the back marker. McGuire second and the back marker has helped out That's the done race it. leader. That's that one in the race. Yeah, Johnny Garnis is going to have this now with one more lap. It might have been different. The wait for a good opportunity. That looks to me like Casey O'Gorman has got himself back into third. We've got a bike down. Is that Dylan Meller? I think that's Dylan Meller who's gone and Ryan Hitchcock's gone with him. Looks like Mella has- This is an axolotl and they love to play in bubbles. Here's what it sounds like to switch from an electric motor to a combustion engine in the same car. This is what every pub in England looks like when they score in the World Cup. These doors keep activating each other's sensors when they close, which means this could go on for a really long time. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This guy owns wolves that love to eat fruits and vegetables. This is what happens when you inject luminol into a solution containing 10% bleach. There's a McDonald's in Australia that has a really neat way of sending food to their customers.
This is what a one million dollar humidor cigar chest looks like. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait a second. Did I stop it? An organization created a ball that's pretty much indestructible for children from poor countries to play with. Have you ever seen bugs throw punches at each other? That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. I found an Instagram account where this guy gives his cat the best head massages. Halt dich fest, Kyrie. Ja, ich halte dich fest. Dein Arm ist genau vor mir. This is an F1 Savannah cat, and they're one of the most expensive domesticated cats you can possibly own. If you want a cat like this, you need to pay at least $12,000. The U.S. government has developed wheels that can change shape depending on the terrain. Reconfigurable wheel track. Wheels that reconfigure to triangular tracks to instantly optimize mobility over different types of terrain. RWTs can change from wheel to track and back again within two seconds while the vehicle is in motion for instant improvements to tactical mobility and maneuverability on diverse terrains. There's a theme park in China that lets you walk on a bridge that's over 650 feet above the ground. This little chimp recognized and was reunited with his favorite caretaker. This is an Altomatis caterpillar, and they can be found in Central America. They are not poisonous, and they like to hang out in the same tree with hundreds of others. And it's absolutely amazing. It's just, wow, it just blows me away entirely how, how incredible, beautiful, and stunning this one is. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello, everyone. This is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is the Airbus Beluga, and it is one big plane. The Beluga is used to transport large plane parts, or even small planes.
NASA has their own version of the plane called the Super Guppy, except it's shorter and fatter. Every 4th of July, people in Alaska take old vehicles and rig them to drive off a cliff by themselves. A company developed this device that you wear on your wrist to help prevent you from falling asleep while driving. The device senses your heartbeat and once it drops below a certain level, it creates an electric shock waking up the user. Now this is what it looks like when a cat has the hiccups. This is how a bullet works. Every bullet is made of just a few basic components that include the bullet case, the bullet powder, and the bullet itself. The pin strikes the bullet, igniting the powder and sending it down the barrel. This is what it looks like to make lace by hand. It might look like they're just throwing sticks around, but they know exactly what they're doing. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This is called a bellow, and it's something alligators do when they want to warn other alligators about coming into their territory. It's also used by male alligators to attract a mate. This is the Halloman Air Force Base located in New Mexico. The base has a high speed test track that is over 10 miles long and can send objects to speeds of over 6,000 miles per hour. In case you're wondering, this is how sound effects are made for movies. This guy was born without his right arm, so he created his own prosthetic arm made of Legos. That keeps my arm inside the, the, the actual limb, so... This is the arm from my point of view, 
and as you can see I can move the hand like before and I will show you how I can grab things with the mechanism I built. Here's some fun facts about orcas. Killer whales are not whales at all and they are actually the largest type of dolphin. They typically travel and hunt together in something called pods, which usually consists of anywhere from 15 to 30 orcas. <laughs> There's a cafe in Japan where people can grab some tea and then feed the raccoons that live there. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This is how to subdue a cobra without harming it. You basically need to distract the snake in the front, and then come from behind and gently grab it. To the ground and... Thumb and four finger. Cash. This one Cash. Cash. In the back side. This one's also dangerous for... in. Red Bull Media House made a movie called North of Nightfall where four professional bikers went up to the Arctic Circle to ride down a massive mountain. The closest hospital was over 12 hours away. Firefighters in Croatia were watching a crucial penalty shot when they were called to respond to an emergency. Here's what the migration pattern of 118 different bird species looks like in North and South America. This is a Shetland sheep, and these sheep actually don't need to be sheared at all, as their wool can be pulled right off. Oh, you get wool off of a Shetland sheep. She's already to the midsection. That's the end of this video, I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This is a frogfish, and they hunt for food by walking on the sea floor and use a lure that sticks out of their head to attract prey. Frogfish start out really, really small, but they can grow to be the size of a football.
Schools are beginning to introduce augmented reality programs to help students learn how chemistry works. This is what it looks like when a pilot lands a commercial airliner. 40, 30, 20, 10. Speed breaks up. This is what a fruit bat looks like when they try to eat a grape. It might look like the grape is too big, but this is totally natural and fruit bats are capable of eating things much bigger than this. Oh, good girl. This is called the Black Fly, and it's a brand new type of flying vehicle. Its design is supposed to be similar to that of a drone. What makes it so special is that it has the ability to land on water and recharge its battery using solar energy. That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. There's an annual event called Burning Man where giant wooden structures are burned in the desert. These bonfires are so huge that they actually develop a large chain of dust devils. And apparently having dust devils appear at festivals is a really common occurrence. This person took mean comments she received on her videos and turned them into a song. Personality bothers me so much. You are very ugly and weird. Your singing was awful. You voice sucks. No, did you? What? 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 I don't. I think I just found the most satisfying job in the world. A few days ago, a giant animatronic T-Rex was shown off in London. This company developed running shoes designed to absorb the stress on your knees.
That's the end of this video. Hopefully I made your day just a little better, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. A Russian engineer developed the plans to create a flying train with the ability to hold up to 2,000 passengers at once. The benefit about this compared to a plane is that arrival times would be extremely precise. There would be no need to worry about air traffic or waiting in line with other planes to gain clearance to take off from a runway. This person helps totally random people from getting a parking ticket by pretending that the car is hers. This person is walking on a slack line over some rough waters without any safety rope attached and he almost falls off. This is a cuttlefish, and they have the ability to rapidly change skin color as a way to communicate and hide from predators. Isn't that just the cutest thing? This is called an assault breacher vehicle, and its purpose is to destroy roads and sweep for mines. By completely leveling the road, the rest of the convoy does not need to worry about landmines. The German military made their own version, where they take giant metal chains and spin them really, really fast. There's something called a motorcycle chariot, which is basically a regular chariot, except the horse is replaced with a motorcycle. That's the end of this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. The most expensive type of coffee in the world is called Kopilua, and it typically sells at about $300 per pound. The reason why this coffee is so expensive is because the coffee beans are consumed by something called a civet cat. The civet cat ferments the beans while in their digestive system, and they are pooped out about 24 hours later. Unfortunately, many of these cats are forced to only eat these beans and live in small cages their entire lives. This is the Larungar Buddhist Academy, located in Tibet. There are over 40,000 residents living here trying to study the ways of Tibetan Buddhism. The location is extremely remote, and it's about a 13-hour drive to the closest airport. This is what a newborn pangolin looks like. <laughs> this 
This is the Concorde, and it's a retired commercial aircraft that could travel at supersonic speeds. It was capable of traveling from New York to Paris in just under three and a half hours. The plane has a function where it can fold down its nose to help the pilot see the runway easier when they're landing. A diver is using a dye to demonstrate how a sea sponge survives by filter feeding. When liquid gets placed on a hydrophobic surface, it sticks together. That's the end of this video. Hope you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later! Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. I found a cat on Instagram with orange eyes, and it looks like it's always ready for Halloween. This is actually not meat. There's a restaurant in New York that has smoked watermelon that sits over a warm fire for a few days. The International Space Station is traveling around the Earth at over 17,000 miles per hour. To give you an idea of how fast that is, here's the space station traveling in front of the moon. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later!